Hey, you know, um, 2012 in time, let's just summarize McKenna's theory real quick. He said that, according to logic, um, time travelers can only go back to the time in which the first time machine was built. So, he suspects that in 2012, potentially, a time traveling device might um, be created and then at, right at that moment when it is created, a whole bunch of travelers from the future will come back at that moment and be like, we're from the future, but we just were waiting for you to finally invent it so we could go back to this time. Um, it's a very interesting theory. I mean, McKenna's the only one I've heard who, who espoused that. I mean, I wonder if he got, uh, got it from someone else. And of course, in the Montauk project, there was supposedly a time machine they built but when they did try to uh, travel past the year 2012, it was just a block, a barrier. Like, they're saying they did travel in the past, um, but they couldn't go forward past 2012. So that's, that's kind of contradicting McKenna's thing that's saying time travel can only happen in 2012. He's saying time travel is impossible. Well, the Montauk Project experiment is saying that time travel is impossible after 2012 because we'll potentially be in unlimited time. Um, but, you know, who knows? Uh, I've been doing some more math, of course, and I found that I was just looking through pi, you know? I found that 2012 occurs at position 7200, counting the first digit after the decipo decimal point of 3 is not counted. Okay, this is very interesting. I'll just post it on the uh, description. Because 72 is exactly a Mayan... Katun, which is a, a ton times 360 days, so 7,200 days exactly. 2012 occurs in pi at exactly 7,200. And guess what the two numbers right before 2012 are? 72. It's just very strange, very strange. Um, and I counted the whole the whole uh, 13 Bakhtun cycle, 1,800,072, 872,000. 1,872,000 occurs at position 6,102,152. Not that interesting, but the fact that it occurs at 52 is a very resonant number. Blah, 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 blah. 52 um, is an extremely resonant Mayan uh, mathematic number. Then I did 144,000 occurs at 172,626 digits. That ends in 26. The Mayan Sulkin is a fractal of 26. Um, find it very cool. So, yeah. Uh, if y'all want my book, just keep em emailing me. I don't want any money yet, you know, unless the publisher wants is willing. I mean, I'd love to just post it on a site, but yeah, if y'all want the book, just hit me up.